In this video, I want to start discussing some of the misconceptions that we have about ground penetrating radar. I found that through advertising and through popular media, we kind of think of it as a magical thing where we have like x-ray specs that can just see underground. It's a lot more complicated than that. Our misconceptions aren't crazy, they're there for a reason. And the first clip I want to show is a clip from Jurassic Park. This was filmed in 1993, so 30 years ago at this point. And in this clip, they show really good ground penetrating radar. It's not true. We, we do not have the ability to see things in any way as clearly as this clip even shows. this usually take? The ship bring an immediate return. Shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the image back. Bounces it back. This new program's incredible. Mm. A few more years development and we won't even have to dig anymore. Where's the fun in that? It's a little distorted, but I don't think it's a computer. Oh. Post mortem contraction of the posterior neck ligaments. Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape too. It's five, six feet high, I'm guessing nine feet long. Of course, this is a movie, so it's not intended to be realistic or fool anybody. But I went to the Sensors and Software website, which sells ground penetrating radar units, and I did find that their advertising, while it wasn't false, it also was misleading, as you might expect. And the first thing that I found on one of their pages describing what ground penetrating radar does was a comparison to fish finders. In a way, they're comparable in the sense that both send out some sort of waves and bounce back, but the similarities do end there. They're not the same sort of waves that are being sent out, and water is much more predictable than dirt because dirt can have different compositions, it can have rocks, it can have roots, different sizes and shapes. So a fish finder does work a lot better. So it's not really the best comparison. Here's that fish finder display that I showed you earlier. And here is a ground penetrating radar display from the same website that I was showing you earlier as well. So here are various images taken using ground penetrating radar. And the point I'm making in this video is just that interpreting these images and using ground penetrating radar is not necessarily as simple as we may have been led to believe. 